Hello everybody and welcome to today's workout. Today we have a 20 minute air wrap, as many rounds as possible of 8 reverse lunge on each side, 8 front squats, 8 good mornings, 8 handstand push-ups or seated press or uh, pipe push-ups. And then our last movement is going to be 8 standing shoulder fly. As many rounds as possible for 20 minutes, okay? After you finish your workout, you're going to do a little bit of core work, 5 rounds of 20 seconds of work of V-ups, 20 second plank, 20 seconds alternating single arm, single leg V-ups, and then you rest for 20 seconds going for those movements for five rounds, 20 seconds of each, okay? To get you guys started, we're gonna start you off with six minutes of 30 seconds fast feet, 30 seconds toy soldier, 30 seconds run and stretch, and then you rest for 30 seconds. Follow this pattern, these movements for six minutes, okay? For your fast feet, you're just gonna tap one foot on top of the dumbbell at a time, back and forth, nice and easy. 30 seconds. For your toy soldiers, opposite arm touches opposite foot, back and forth for 30 seconds. Run and stretch. You're going to get in a plank position, shoulders right under, shoulders right under your elbow and under your wrist. And then from here, you're going to take one step right next to your hand and then you're going to press your hip towards the floor. Step back and then opposite opposite leg and back and forth for 30 seconds okay so then for your workout the movement eight reverse lunge so you're going to do eight lunges on each side so from here you're going to hold the dumbbell on your shoulder elbow striking the dumbbell the same leg that it's the arm you're holding the dumbbell is the same leg that goes back Make sure your torso remain nice and straight so we're not leaning forward. So you're gonna take a step back, torso drop straight down, and then you stop. So we're gonna do eight in one side, and then we're gonna switch arms, and then we're gonna do eight in the other side. Make sure you have that full extension so we're locking the hips and knees as you step forward. Okay, so that's your reverse lunge. For your front squats, you're gonna be holding the dumbbell in front of you with both hands. Get in your squat stance, which is right under the shoulder. Feet are uh, your toe is slightly pointing out, and then from here, hip crease below the knee at the bottom of your squat. Drive your knees are driving out, striking the toe. Full extension at the top, locking the hips and knees. So that's your front squat. Next one is gonna be your good morning. The dumbbell is gonna sit in on front. Again, you're gonna hug it with both hands. Then from here, your stance is right under the hips. Soften the knees and then push the hips back. Make sure your shoulders is back and down so we're not curling the shoulders forward. Shoulders is nice and tall. From here, push the hips back. Get to that 90 degree position where you feel your hamstring. Then you're gonna stand up nice and tall. So that's your good mornings. For your handstand push-up, plank push-up, or seated press. So if you wanna use a wall for your handstand, uh, let's see here. You can go ahead and use something to a uh, pillow or whatever it feels comfortable for you to do your handstand. But for here, you're gonna kick your foot off, your legs on the wall, you're gonna lower yourself down, then you're gonna bring your knee towards your chest. At the same time, you're gonna kick your feet up, you're gonna press with the shoulders. Then you're gonna stand, and that's your handstand. If you don't wanna do handstand, you're gonna do a pipe push-up. For the pipe push-up, you're gonna step in the downward dog position. So from here, your hands is your head is between your hands. From here, you're gonna shift your uh, weight from the heels to your toe, and you're gonna bring your shoulders forward, and then you're gonna bring our head all the way down to the floor. And you see here, I'm on my toe. Then I press up 
and then go back to my heels. Then again, my heels come off the floor to my toe, my shoulders come in front, leg comes down. Very important here not to drop the hip so we get into that regular push-up. Make sure your hip stay up at the same at all times. You're only moving the shoulder and the head goes down and you constantly stay in that downward dog position. So that's your pike push-up. If you don't wanna do pike push-up, you have an option to do seated press. For the seated press, you're gonna sit on the floor, feet outside of the shoulders, and then from here, dumbbell is gonna sit on your shoulder, and I want you to think about bringing your torso slightly in front of your hip crease. And then from there, you're gonna press, Lock the elbow, and you're gonna do, so if you're doing seated press, you're gonna do eight, uh, four on each side, a total of eight. For your shoulder fly, you're gonna be doing eight on each side. So for this one, you're gonna hinge the hip, almost like you're going for a good morning position. Your torso is about 45 degrees here. Your dumbbell is right in front of your knee, and I want you to think about softening the elbow. So we don't want to be really straight here. Elbow nice and soft, shoulders back and down, really keeping that tall chest. From here, I want you to bring the dumbbell to your shoulder height, and then back up again. Make sure that when you bring the dumbbell up, our torso is not coming up with it. What we see a lot is you, come, you stand up with it, so this time, you, you really want to work on the shoulders. You're keeping your torso in that 45 degrees, shoulders back and down. Then from there, you're going for your shoulder fly. If you need to use a lighter dumbbell, please do. So that's your movements for the workout. So before you get your actual workout in, do one round of eight reps of each movement to get the hang of it, okay? So that's your workout prep. So after you finish with your workout, I'm gonna go over your movements for your core drill for five rounds. So for your core, we're gonna be doing 20 seconds of work. We're gonna start with V-ups. For your V-ups, you're gonna be sitting, you're gonna be laying on the floor on your back. And then from here, legs straight, arms over your head. And I want you to think about your torso and your legs come up at the same speed, so nice and fast. And then from here, your hands touch your toe. Same speed we come up. And then we come back down. Come up and come back down. Think about squeezing the thighs together, squeezing your feet together so your legs is one unit, okay? If this is a challenge movement for you guys, stay on your back, we're gonna do top cups instead. Everything remains the same, but from here I want you to think about bringing the knee to your chest and then your hands come down at the same time also. So knee to the chest and then come back up. So that's your back ups. For your plank hold, your hands is going to be right under the shoulder here, feet together. Squeeze your sides, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your belly. If I would have shake you, nothing would move. Everything would be nice and sturdy, okay? So that's your plank hold. For your single leg V-ups, it's pretty similar to what we're regular V-ups. But from now, we're just gonna go for opposite arm and opposite leg touch. And then we're gonna alternate. 20 seconds alternating back and forth. So that's your workout today, you guys. Have fun with it, get a sweat on, get going, and I'll see you here tomorrow. Have an awesome day.